Welcome back to Velixo. Now that we've installed Velixo NX and connected our workbook to Sage Intact, let's look at designing a basic report. Here we have the start of a closing balance report. In the report header section, we've placed certain information that we can use with our Velixo functions as we create them. We have the name we gave the connection to our Sage Intact data. We've listed the beginning and ending dates for our closing balance report. We've entered the specific location code for the data we want. And we're going to be retrieving data from the accrual reporting book. Now let's bring in our chart of accounts. We'll click on this cell and then click the Insert Chart of Accounts link in the Velixo NX ribbon. Because we can define more than one connection with Velixo, the Velixo side panel opens and asks us to confirm which connection we want to use. We can just click Insert, and now our chart of accounts is listed in the report. We can see that this placed the si.expandAccountRange function in the cell. The function has created an Excel dynamic array so that just one function can display multiple values. Let's next bring in the name for each account. We'll click on the next column of our report and then activate the Excel function wizard. We're in the Velixo NX category, so we need to simply find the function we want. All of the Velixo Sage Intact functions start with the letters SI, so we'll type that. SI.accountName is the function we want, so we'll click OK. This function has just two parameters. We'll refer to the cell containing our connection name, and then the cell containing the first account code. This would give us the name of just that first account. Since we want the name of each account displayed by the expand account range function, we can add the number sign to the end of the cell reference to refer to the entire dynamic array. Once we press OK, the names of our entire chart of accounts are displayed. Now let's move on to another basic function that you will find useful. In this scenario, we want to have the account closing balances populate in column C. Rather than use the function wizard again, since we know that we want the closing balance, let's just start by typing equals closing. The name of the function is displayed, and we can press tab to autocomplete that function name. Once in the function, we can see the template for the parameters the function expects. We are going to use the connection defined in our header, and then press comma to move on to the next parameter. We can leave the account group empty because we are specifying the exact account code to use. It is important to note that you can specify an account group only, an account code only, or a combination of both, and Velixo will determine which accounts to use for the calculation. Again, we'll reference the cell with the expand account range function and include the number sign to refer to all accounts listed. For the start date, end date, location, and books parameters, we'll continue to use cell references to the data in our report header. In this example, we are not using any of Sage Intact's predefined dimensions, any user-defined dimensions, and none of our accounts have child accounts for which we need to retrieve balances, so we don't have to use the remaining parameters. We can simply type the closing parenthesis and press the Enter key. And now we have the closing balance for each account in our chart of accounts. In this video, we explored some of the functions Velixo NX provides for your reporting needs. It is important to note that you can either use the Excel function wizard to enter your functions, or you can type the functions you wish to use. Now that you know the steps, go ahead and give them a try in your workbook.